What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your Windows 11 computer look like Windows XP. So, as you can see, I already have the background. However, if you want, you can have the background. If you don't, then that's fine. I'm going to go for the full Windows XP experience besides the user icons because as you can see, I don't have them on my computer. Anyways, um, so yeah, you need two things, maybe three, if you want Windows XP, um, wallpaper. But or not, you would need two big, two main things, open shell and retro bar. So what are you going to do? I'm going to go into the top link in the description for retro bar. I'm going to go in, you got to... First off, you got to unzip the file. You're going to open up Electrobar. And here we are. Electrobar is open. So, now we got to personalize the bar. And then right click and hit personalize. Now, if you want, you can lock the tax bar. I like it locked, so unlock it. If you want, you can uh, if you want to disable allow smooth fonts. You can. I like it on. So now we're gonna go into themes. You're gonna do XP. So you can do XP blue, which is the de oh, default Luna blue. XP classic. XP Embedded Style, Royal New Noir, Olive Green, XP Royal, Silver, or Zoom. For me, I'm just going to do the XP Blue Luna. And if you want, you can enable Quick Launch and you can set a location. For me, I just have it on my desktop called Tax Bar. So everything on my Windows 11 Tax Bar will be in this little area. Now, with that being done, now with that all sorted, now we have to get the Windows menu because I want a full um, XP theme. So. We're going to go back into our downloads, and this time I'm going to click the second link in the description for OpenShell. By the way, if you don't have a Windows XP wallpaper and you want one, I recommend this this 4K. It's going to be the first link down in the description. Okay, anyways, we want to open and install OpenShell. This is going to go through everything. I recommend you know don't be changing any settings on the installer. No, unless you're not going to be using that as much. So now we're going to hit finish. All right, and now we have a different start menu. If you're if for any reason your menu is at uh, in the center, but it's not on the side. You got to go ahead and go into your tax bar settings and move the tax bar alignment from the center over to the left. Do that by going in the settings, personalize, tax bar, and then go down to tax bar behavior and left. And by the way, if there was, and if you do full screen and it get cut off, I also recommend automatically hiding the taskbar. So yeah, you have to make sure it, go, it went from center, because if I, as you can see, it's now in the center. You just have to make sure it's in the left of your computer screen. Now, this is not the Windows XP uh, start menu. You have to open up uh, open show menu settings. You're going to go to select skin. 
Okay, first make sure you have uh, plastic with two columns. Now you're going to go to the skin setting. And then XP Luna. Ta-da! Now if you want, you can have... So if you choose the um, Windows XP Silver theme for the taskbar, you can also have the Silver theme on the Design menu. But for me, I'm leaving it as blue. And you can personalize this to your preference. So, just like that for me. Now, if you want to change your username at the top of here, you can click on Show More Settings, Menu Look, and then Username Text. Now you can name it to whatever you want. For me, I am doing this channel. Now, click OK. And you're done. Now we got the Windows XP tax bar and start menu. If you want to go all in and if you um if you want to go all in and have like the icons as well, we can do that. But for me, I like it just the way it is. So I'm leaving it. And of course you can also customize like the notification area. So you can show the clock if you want. You can auto hide the XP taskbar if you want. And you can also change it to, uh, to how you feel. So for the inverted system icons, you can have it as never or always. So as you can see, the system icon is now black. So I'm just having it when needed by theme. You can have it show on multiple displays. So if you use a second monitor, for instance, you can click on it, and you can in this uh, and the virtual bar will show on your next screen. Also, you can change the size of your taskbar. For me, I like it at about one twenty-five, and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, if you want, you can have the XP sounds and the icons and all that. I'm not stopping you, I just don't want to do it. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.